Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a butt scribe, an internal scribe to skirting. Now, I've got these two pieces, these are square, and this one is against the wall. Now, normally, this piece would run, but you're best off doing is run the front piece from the corner to this corner in one full length, and then this piece, you can scribe that into this one. Now, on a, on a lot of old buildings, you'll find the walls are all over the place. So, what you want to do is you want to get happy medium. I mean, if you can look at this one, there, it sort of comes out a little bit. But, obviously, if you want to keep him flat and square, then that one's slightly tipping backwards. So, you've got two options. Either remove this bit there with the chisel, boss chisel, try and pull it back a little bit, or what you can do is just pull it out a little bit at the top like that, as you can see, and keep it square. And all you then do is just put a bit of, a couple of wedges in or something, and then when you're corking it up painting, you won't even notice it. But this way, it keeps the skirting square. Um, a lot, I mean, you don't want really, to, I mean, that's exaggerating, but literally, I mean, you don't want it really like that, do you? I mean, you can, you can get a happy medium, just pull it out a little bit. Okay, so now what we do is we offer this one up to it. That's pretty square. And then what we'll do is, we're gonna cut this at 45 degrees. And when you do that, that gives you the exact shape of the skirting, which you're gonna basically cut that shape out and that will fit nice and snug up to this piece of skirting there. So I'll do that for you now. Okay, so you may have seen it in my previous video where I showed you how to do 45 degrees with the reflection of the saw. If you check out that video if you want a bit more detail on it. But basically what I'm going to do now is, just to recap, is I'm going to do a 45 degree angle there using the reflection of the saw, which if I look for 90 degrees, you probably won't be able to see it from the video angle, but if you check out the other video, you'll see it. So I'm just going to do this on the floor. You should be able to see that. So I'm going to cut the 45, kind of close in the edge somewhere, even on that pencil line, that's an old one. So I'm going to put down quite a nice short step, just a bit long, no need to do long strokes, just nice and short. So as you can see, I've cut a 45 degrees down to this mark there, and I'm going to get the pencil. And I'm going to put a pencil mark down there, using the saws as a square. Like I said, that's a bit pretty close enough, these. These saws have got 90 mm, so they're not too bad. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this out with the saw and I'll cut it all out here. Okay, so I put on a little bench, there's my pencil line, and cut it out. If you can, just cut it slightly back, like so, just so it adds a little bit more clearance at the back of the skirting, which makes things a little bit easier. We need to Take your little plane to it, something for whatever reason. So I just normally tilt it back a little bit. Nice and short steps, nothing, none of this garbage. Just a little, just nice short strokes. Nice and slow. Use the back of the saw again. I'm going to cut it with the back of the saw. Don't focus on the front, focus on the back. Lean into the back of it. Okay, so that'll be your first cut. And now I'm just going to cut the rest of it out and cut the saw. Okay, you see the shape of it now, it's coming together. So just do little bits at a time, you don't need to do it in a full cut, just cut bits off. You don't need to do it all at once. top there as you can see now some you might struggle sometimes to get it really a nice little cut so don't worry about it just cut it off square by the time you've cocked it and paint you won't even do it so unless you like you know you're all about it you can cut that but chances are you probably won't be able to get it off in one piece without breaking that off so I'll just cut that right off if you want it's not a big deal for this purpose I'll try and cut it off without taking the top off but we'll see Fell off. 
fly small. So anyway, no bigger. So that's going to be as you cut. So if I get the off cut piece, place it up to it. Okay, and that's how you put a scribe. So all they'll just put it against the wall. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got two pieces up against the wall. As you can see, Ow. as I slightly explained to you before, this wall is slightly leaning back, it's kicking out the bottom. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there. I mean, it's by all intents and purposes, by the time you've cocked it in paint, you probably won't even see it. So what, what, what I'm gonna do, I can probably, I've just pulled it out a little bit at the top, as you can see, made a, a lot of difference there. I mean, that's, just so pull it out a bit, put a few, bit of wedge at the back, bit of bloody, Paint cork, and there you go. That's about it, really. Bit of practice, slow it down to a fine art.